All right. So, kind of excited, and I'm also a little bit late for this one. Uh, these have been out for a while. They're by my friend Ryan Schultz. For the love of God, please let me have said that right. I have no idea. He told me. We laughed about it, and I was like, I'm going to fuck that up the next time I say it. But anyway, I'm sure you've all seen my last video of his other deck, the False Anchors. Well, today, I have here, and he's very generous with this. I won a contest of his, and I got not one, not two, but three False Anchor decks. And, uh, we're going to pop these bad boys out in a second and take a, take a little peek at them. So, right now, it uh, there's a few things different from the other one. The, uh, the back design is completely different. It is uh, more... Like, it was pretty nautical themed before. It was all anchors, like little anchors all together and everything. But, in this one... I'm seeing a lot more, and I had some previews to this, and I was very excited for this. It's a lime green type. It's got the title, The Secret Lies, and a banner up underneath here. The Secret Lies with the Lady. That's what it says in both banners. So that leads me to believe that there's a riddle somewhere in here, and I like that. If you like riddles, I suggest not just this deck, but uh, Neil Patrick Harris's deck. There is a mind-hurting amount of puzzles with that one, and uh, good luck with that. That crap took me almost a year. Let's not talk about it. Anyway, we got uh, mermaids here with the moon, and then a uh, compass here, some anchors, some anchors, and then the front, pretty much the same as before, just a false anchor with all of them together just like it was before but now we have this lovely bad boy oh yeah so trick uh for non-magicians you always look for this little tab right here because you're going to want to save the cellophane and it comes apart like this in a big little ring or square around it and that takes off the top half of the cell fame and it leaves you go away i know i'm statically charged i'm an electric personality baby so this leaves you with cellophane from down here from here to here and what this does is it leaves a protective layer for the box obviously you got to get in and out so and i love the fact that he doesn't put a seal on this because honestly those annoy the crap out of me he didn't do it with his originals and he's not doing it with these and thank you ryan so uh yeah, so one reason I like to do the cellophane as well and leave it on, not just for protecting the box and making them last forever, um, is I'll put a card reveal on here. And uh, it's a little trick. I'm sure if you look on some of my videos on my social medias, somewhere it's there. I don't remember where. It might be on my YouTube. Um, and I don't mind giving this trick out. It's a fun trick. So if you're a magician, keep listening. If you're not, skip like... 30 seconds ahead in this video. I'm dead serious. Let's get, let's get out of here. Anyway, now that they're all gone, you put a card reveal. Um, easiest ones to do would be three of... three of clubs. And then you let that dry, put that over, and then with a dry erase marker, what I do is I take a dry erase Sharpie. I take out the guts of that and put it in a real Sharpie, so now it looks like an actual sharpie but it's dry erase and then without them seeing the front of it you draw draw on it and uh you replace that three of clubs connect the lines and make an eight and draw over the existing lines that are already going to be there so that way it looks like an eight now on the box and then take that uh, club and switch it over to you know you can draw over the club entirely and make a heart uh, spade is the easiest to make and then when uh, then they've seen you draw the eight, eight of spades, eight of hearts, whatever you want to do, and you can get creative with it. There's other numbers that work for this, but uh, you can experiment and try. 
as you bring it up to here and you're about to open the box just take your thumb and you wipe away all the dry erase and then it'll leave the permanent marker stuff on the case which I also love this about Ryan's design because you could do this with his original uh, false anchors and this one so there's nothing here except his logos down the bottom so you can you can do that you can do a card reveal you can play with the dry erase and leave like a message a uh, real quick one but anyway let's get into the nitty-gritty and find out what Ryan has done this time gosh probably investigate the box to make sure he didn't leave anything else inside of here I forgot to take a peek let's see here. did Ryan hide anything else in here it's mostly because I don't trust Ryan da -da, da -da, da -da. nope all right take a peek here all right we got the jokers right here we'll get into that tuck box nothing hiding in there pretty good now the way i always start out testing the deck is to give it a little bit of oh yeah Ooh, baby okay a little one-handed okay well hello that's suspicious but these feel really good and that was that was a half ass spread i did and these look pretty nice and then we go a little bit Russian. Russian shuffle. Again, that doesn't do anything. It's just one card Russian after another. One hand. Uh huh. Test out. Two hand. Feels nice. This is brand new out of the box too, and it feels freaking great all right so we got the oh really okay I've heard the aces always always have some interesting stuff here let's have a look here okay same mermaid different pose Okay, we're going to talk about that in a second. Ryan has found a use for the Jokers. <laughs> so, it's I don't often see an Ace of Spades that has a different color format than the actual Ace. It's normally a black design of some kind. This is really cool. I like this. And it's a mermaid. Holding... Oh, good lord, my eyes. And holding a bottle of wine. And it looks like a joker. And then uh, we go to the back design here. And just like I said, we got a mermaid in all four corners. But on the banners in this one, it says perception is reality on both sides here. Moon, that kind of looks like a Pac-Man run. I don't know if you noticed that. Uh... Upon closer inspection, it is a uh, cloud, but that looks like an angry Pac-Man to me. We're going to have to talk about that, buddy. All right, put that over there, and we'll investigate this Joker. Okay, so this is a normal Joker, and Dorian has thrown in a double facer. That is really cool. So you can still use jo the two Jokers for whatever, and then, uh, well, you don't want to use that you could do a one card or a two card money i don't know where my brain's going with this one but we're gonna let that sit simmer for a minute all right so so far it's done it's done everything beautifully just right out of the box this is ridiculous and ryan has done a really great product again from the fit and the spread i again oh okay i'm in florida right now so we do have kind of a cold spurt so anybody that's watching and you think the cards are gonna get ruined nah it's like 46 degrees out here you can probably see my breath and my smoke from my fire so trust me it's fine outside but 
it's in new deck order, which is kind of new because the last, except for this, the uh, the last deck he had it stacked a certain way with certain tricks, just ready to go out of the box. Whereas this one, you get a you get a gaff card, and then what is this two of clubs doing? That's an extra two of clubs. Oh, that's. So what is this two of clubs? Is that real? I don't trust anything in here. Okay, no, that's real. So, for some weird reason. Oh, now I see what's going on here. Ryan has included a couple more gaffs. So I was wondering, because I saw the two of clubs and the ace of hearts over here. Made no sense to me a second ago. But it makes sense to me now, because they are gaff cards as well. So it's a half of an ace of hearts and a two of clubs, and then a half of a two of clubs and an ace of hearts over here. And I'm sure there's many different routines that y'all can think of doing it with it. I've got a couple in my head. I just don't have anything practiced. So we're going to go through here, check out the court cards. They look classic. Nothing really suspicious about them. Because it's Ryan, I'm going to double check triple check these really fast okay nope looking pretty clean which I don't trust the secret lies with the lady all right I'm gonna check these mermaids closer in a second you would think the lady would be the queen his you know queen but, let's see if we can source out the secret that he's trying to hide here. I definitely think it's got something to do. Not you. There we go. It's got to be these jokers. Wait a minute. This... Okay. There is a card in her bra. On both ones. And there's a card in there. She's holding a card. In her hand, though. And I originally thought that she had a bottle somehow sticking out of her fin, but that doesn't make any sense unless you're at SeaWorld. Uh, so, which lady has... I swear to God, it's got to be this bottle. So she's holding... See if I can get this. She's holding in one hand a wine bottle, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need a magnifying glass to find out what's inside of that, as well as a card over here. But it looks like the Joker's... I want to say it's this. Huh. Wow. Well, this is going to hurt my head for a while. So it's pretty much just like Neil Patrick Harris's deck. So that'll be forever and a day that that happens. Uh... So, yeah, all of that, I would say, you know, get yourself a deck, uh, go to false anchors, uh, you know, dot com, stuff like that. You definitely don't want to miss this deck. Um, also, I'm pretty sure he's doing his pamphlets again. So you're definitely going to want to get his trick. You can ask anybody. They're going to say yes. Um... I mean, there's no reason not to not to get one of these bad boys. Um, well, <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, false anchors apparently uh, ghost approved. That's that's suspicious, and I'm getting the freak out of here. No, not again, not again, not again, not again.